Frank dragged me to the desert so that you two could build an atomic bomb. We're all going home with blood on our sleeves. Bombs away. Now, all of these scientists from all over the world, many of them Eastern Europeans, came from their homeland to this tiny little mesa in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of this relatively new country, and were asked to make the greatest breakthrough in the history of science. So that weird mass of contradictions gave birth to the world as we know it, but also to really great drama. I think that's what makes it such an exciting TV show. Everything kind of turns upside down in many exciting ways. I mean, if the first season was fast-paced and breakneck and exciting, the second season is like full pedal to the metal, to use race car driver terms. I'm not a race car driver, but it's incredibly exciting. And for my character especially, he kind of does this incredible 180 and suddenly begins to realize the... Uh, breadth of what they're doing by building the world's first atomic weapon and tries to start putting the brakes on but realizes the train has left the station. The genie's been let out of the bottle. Just bright, up with nowhere to go. I kind of refer to it as historical science fiction. It's This was, of course, a real time and place in our nation world history, but the stories and the people that the writers created are all fictional and the icons of that time and place exist on the periphery. So by creating fictional characters, they'll, they're able to tell stories that are allegorical, you know, that, that are more contemporary than maybe some of the stories that happened then and there. So by doing that, we see that the world we live in now is really no different than that world 70 years ago where all of the modern world as we know it now began and that's really great and a lot of these scientists realized about halfway through building the bomb that they kind of maybe were in a moral quagmire that it was a real paradox this thing that could save the world might could destroy the world as well who, who the hell are you the united states of america You're building a weapon. It's called an atomic chain reaction. 